All right. Today we are with Paul Wexler, and he is the son of Jerry Wexler, the infamous producer of Atlantic <laughs> Records. Paul, why are you in town? We're in Muscle Shelves. Well, you know, I was just coming down because I told Dick Cooper, who was an A&R guy and, and ran the studio at Muscle Shelves for so many years, also a great photographer, that I was going to come down and visit him. And so I just planned to come down and all of a sudden these events started springing up that were about my dad this today the screening of immaculate funk tom thurman's film and then two nights from now uh christine ullman is doing a tribute to my dad with a uh, spooner and donnie fritz and uh, bonnie and uh, uh, becca bramlett and i think uh, jimmy johnson's going to be there and uh, david hood is the music director david and jimmy from the muscle shoals rhythm section now, I'm not saying these things all started happening because I was coming down, but it's one of these, I guess I wouldn't say coincidences, just maybe a little synchronicity. And so it's, uh, it's, it's I'm always very happy to, to honor my father. <laughs> Had you ever been to Muscle Shows before? No, yes. I, I, I came down a few times for a few sessions that my dad did down here. I, one time my father was working on Kim Carnes. This is before she had the hit with Betty Davis Eyes, and this was maybe 1971 or two. And he asked me, he said, well, do you know any good mandolin players? And it just so happened that I was friends with uh, David Grisman, known as Dog, who is one of the great mandolin players. And, and I said, yeah, I got a guy. <laughs> and so we came down together, and David did his part on this tune, and, and my dad was more than happy with it. And so it was my first moment that I actually contributed something to some of my dad's work and it was a, a great moment for me. And also I came down for one of the Dylan sessions down here, the second album. And uh, I, 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 I've been down maybe one other time as I remember it, although I'm not quite recalling which artist my father was working on at that point. Yeah. What was your first impressions of Muscle Shows? Well, I mean, I guess just that the, the pace was more laid back, you know. Um, that you know the the catfish was great down here, and 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 just that the atmosphere in the studio was very focused, and that you know uh, that it was at the same time it was a it was I wouldn't say relaxed because you're never relaxed when the when you're recording but it's just more of a of a laid back feeling I'm not sure how else to put it you know. Can you see changes? in this area from back then the 70s and I mean it's hard I'd, I'd hate to I'd hate to I think I would be fronting as people say nowadays if I tried to because I really don't have enough time in uh, uh, around here I guess it looks a little more built up I would say you know um, Florence and it seems like there's more here than there used to be you know uh -huh. and, and what what do you do for a living? What's well, I'm, I'm, at this point, I'm retired, but I worked in the music business. I worked for first for, uh, I had a stint where I was doing some uh, independent contracting at KSAN, the San Francisco uh, radio station that Tom Donahue, well, one of the people who started the FM format, the free you know format that changed off of AM, uh, that program format. And then I went to work for Warner Brothers Records in 1976 as their quality control man, making sure that the vinyl didn't skip from different pressing plants around the country. And after that, I worked for Chris Blackwell at Island Records. I worked out of his studio in the Bahamas. And I actually did a stint at Atlantic in the 90s. But um, basically, I'm retired. I play the piano and sing. The main activity I do is every week I do an hour-long set for some retirees at a, a retirement home near where I live in New Jersey. and. I'll do a lot of standards, things like Moon Glow or Bye Bye Blackbird. I'll do classic country, like he's in the jailhouse now, which Willie Nelson did such a fierce version of that. And uh, just other things that these people in their 80s and 90s know. And so they get that feeling that they used to get. And it's sort of like awakenings, where people who haven't talked for years will be singing along with the music and really bringing something out of them, bringing something to them where they could have some enjoyment at the end of their lives, where they just have almost none, where you're stuck in a place with people you don't want to be with, necessarily. Right, right, right. <laughs> and after this, you go back home? I am. We're after, on, on Saturday, we're, we're going uh, back home. and um, uh, But I'm tremendously excited about this Christine Ullman show on Thursday 
at the uh, Marriott because I'm performing one of the Dylan songs my dad produced, and I'm very excited about that. I look forward to it. Yes. All right, I'll see you there. All right, thank you, sir. Uh -huh. <laughs>